What's up guys, Riley here, and today we're going to be working in the shop, we're not going to do much for this video. Uh, like the last video, we're trying to keep them short, just so that y'all don't lose interest. And so for today, we're going to be pulling the framing for the windows out, and cleaning them up for windows, because it's supposed to rain. We're supposed to get a ton of rain from the hurricane. And I don't want to come into a pool house, so um, I'm going to be pulling the framing, the part of the window that actually opens out, and cleaning that up so we can get windows in them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get to pulling the frames off. But actually, before I do that, uh, my camera's on half a battery, and I don't want it dying while I'm videoing because that'll suck. So, uh, the workbench is kind of a mess right now. Not really kind of, it's just a complete wreck. So, while it's charging, I'm going to go ahead and get that cleaned up. Boom! About 30 minutes later, and it's nice and tidy. Got chargers. And just a few things over here. And a few things over there. So, I got a nice working space for hopefully the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into taking that off. So I got the framing out. And that's a problem. That's what we're gonna be replacing. But we're not going to do that right now in this video. So here's the framing. <clears throat> I'm going to get this sanded down and I'm going to get this, all that kind of cleaned up. It's a bunch of staples because there was plastic on it. So I'm going to get all the staples out and just sand it down and get it nice and clean. Um, so the first part is I'm going to start pulling these staples out. So let's go ahead and get into that. So to get these staples out, I've got this screwdriver, or flathead screwdriver. I've got some pliers and a hammer. Um, I'll just be prying under them because I don't have, really have anything else to get good things with. got the staples out and it looks a little bit better but we can make it look a lot more better so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to get these out but the one I did right there and um, it won't come out so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna attempt to get those out again and then I might take it outside and start sanding it So, now that I've gotten those off, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take it outside and sand it with, I think it's 120 or 150, yeah, 120 grit sandpaper, and do a light sand on it. So let's go ahead and get into sanding. So I've gotten it out here with a brand new piece of sandpaper, and this, which was used on a lathe, just so I can scrape that harder stuff off just to kind of clean it up because all the trim part on the inside of this I'm going to redo. So I'm going to go ahead, the first thing I'm going to do is start sanding.
one side down and one side to go. So, this is the inside of the frame and I'm not going to sand it down to bare wood. Um, well, at least not right now. I may or may not later on, but just not yet. So the paint is in such bad shape and it's all cracked up. So I'm just going to go ahead and sand it down to bare wood. Um, and one thing that I found is the handle has little designs in it. Now the other one didn't. So I don't know what the deal is there, but that's pretty cool. So I might pull it off and clean it up so you can see it better. So, I've gotten this all nice and cleaned up. Off camera, I kind of sanded down on this some, um, the trimming. Which, so far, that trimming's in pretty good condition. So, I'm not going to get rid of this side of trimming. Because um, I actually, I don't know if it's trimming. It looks like it's cut into the wood itself. Because if you look right there, right there where the white and the wood meet, that's there's no gap to where the trimming would be. So I think the trimming's part of the wood, so I can't really get rid of it. And all I'm going to need to do is trimming on the inside. Or for this, it'd be the outside. It'd be on the outside of the shop. But um, I get it all cleaned up, got all that junk off of it, and sanded down on it some. And it looks awesome. So I'm very happy that it looks cleaner than it was. And I'm going to go in. We're going to go in. We're going to go to where the window was, and there's staples on that too, so we're going to go ahead and get the staples off. Just to help with the looks, at least until we can get um, the new framing in, which may or may not be this week. So that's what I'll be getting off, all that. And there's some on the sides, but nothing on the bottom and whatnot. But I'm going to be pulling that off, you know what it looks like now. Um, there's not really enough light to set the camera down somewhere for me to video because you'll just see me praying nothing um, So I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera, and then I'll come back and Use as much light as I can to show y'all Boom that took probably 30 seconds, and it's that much more cleaner uh, I'm not gonna sand this down. There's no reason to because like I said it's gonna have to be replaced um I may or may not because this board looks super good. I haven't seen any rot. There's a little bit of paint peeling off, but it hasn't rotted. I'm wondering if maybe I can um, sand down on it some and get it back to clean wood. Maybe I can use that because then that'll be less that I have to do, less that I have to work on. So, But we're not going to worry about that now. We're going to go ahead and do what I need next. So for the frame or the thing that opens, the actual part that opens for the window in this one is right here. I'm going to go ahead and get everything done to that like I did to the other one for, that was for that window and get that one all nice and cleaned up. This one's actually already sanded some but uh, like the, the trim on the inside I'm going to try and do the same thing clean it up just a little bit more just to help. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, there's the one I've mostly been working on, and there's the other one. I've gotten this one as clean as I can get it. I already had done this, and it's got linseed oil on it. That's why it's so dark. And I got the sides cleaned up. Now, there, it's very dusty, because this one, whatever that was they used for trimming, was like way harder. It was kind of like a rock. So, I used the saw to cut it off I just kind of butted it up against the wood on this side of the wood and on the bottom and then cut so that's as clean as I can get it right now um, now I'm going to linseed oil the other side of this because I'm not going to do the inside I don't exactly need it 
I'm going to do the outside because it'll mostly need it on the outside. So I got the linseed oil all ready and I'm going to go ahead and get it done. So I've gotten the linseed oiled. Didn't take very long, probably about two minutes. And um, a little bit got on this side. So I kind of rubbed it around, just trying to spread it. And um, if I sand it down, it should get away, get some of the color down. And if it gets enough, I might linseed oil this side down just to be safe. But I really like that color, so. But this one, it's got a bunch of dust on it. If I can get some of it off, that's what it looks like. I don't know what, why this one's different from the other, but it is, and I can't really help it, but it'll be okay. Um, so now, the next thing we're going to have to do is get the windows in, but as of right now, I can't do that. So me getting the windows in will be in this video, which you're about to see, but... Um, I have to wait so I'm gonna put the camera down and y'all will see when I put the windows in. 